I'm Jeff Hemmel from Boating Magazine. Today I'm aboard Monterey's 360 SC or Sport Coupe. Now, this is a brand new model from Monterey. It's great for the type of people who like to go out and day boat, entertain, but as we'll see, it's also got some nice accommodations down below for overnighting. And we've spent the entire morning out on the waters of Tampa Bay putting this boat through its paces. Let's take a look at the performance numbers I gathered, then come back and check out some of this boat's outstanding features. Our Monterey 360 SC test boat was equipped with dual Mercruiser 377 mag ECT stern drives with Bravo 3 drives, spinning counter-rotating 21-inch pitch three-bladed stainless steel prop sets. We had a test load of 800 pounds of passenger weight and 60 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 39.6 miles per hour at 5300 RPM. Our most economical cruise speed was 19.2 miles per hour at 3500 RPM where the engines burn 25.2 gallons of fuel per hour. Now back at the helm, the captain arguably has the best seat in the house. I like this chrome spoked steering wheel, leather wrapped. I also appreciate the fact that this boat has joystick docking control. Now that offers really precision maneuvering around tight docking areas. It's really intuitive, takes a lot of the difficulty out of docking. Now the entire cockpit here is covered by this hard top. I've also got nice wraparound glass that gives me full visibility around the boat, great protection from the elements. Now the cockpit air conditioning, it'll keep you cool for those of you in warm climates, but I found I could get a lot of ventilation through these opening side windows, as well as this massive front sliding window forward. With just a flick of the switch, I can retract this entire windshield into the hard top gives you a lot of air here in the cabin. A nice wide opening as well as the steps molded into the cabin door also allow me quick and easy access to the foredeck. Now passengers, we usually come topside for one of two reasons. Either they're gonna work the dock lines or the anchor or they just wanna catch some sun. Now that latter crowd will appreciate these sun pads. They've got flip up backrests that allow you to face forward. It's also nice stainless steel grab rails around you as well as cup holders. Now the former crowd will appreciate the power windlass. It's foot operated, makes it nice and convenient. There's also a wash down so you can rinse off some of the gunk you might bring up from the bottom. Now coming back into the main cockpit, let's check out some of this boat's great entertaining features. The most obvious which right off the bat are these helm and companion seats. They're both on electric sliders. Move them back, pivot the backrests over, and they face these dual solid surface countertops. These are part of a port and starboard wet bar. The port side wet bar features a spot for your ice, drinks, as well as storage for wine bottles. Starboard side has a similar setup up top with pull out storage for a removable waste can. Starboard side also includes additional counter space with a stainless steel sink and a pull up faucet. And of course, no party would be complete without cold food and drinks We've got a standard pull-out fridge, and our test boat was also equipped with an optional ice maker. The highlight for me, however, has got to be this L-shaped lounge aft. It's got an almost living room-like sectional feel. You can add the cockpit table to keep your drinks and hors d'oeuvres readily at hand. You can also add an optional flat screen television if you really want that living room kickback atmosphere. Almost the mirror image of this section of couch faces aft. Now it's a great spot to sit and watch the kids swim or when you're coving. This backrest also pivots forward. It makes a nice aft facing chaise. Or you can take it all the way over into a complete sun pad. When you get hot, time to take a swim. There's easy access off of the swim platform. Underneath a covered hatch on the platform is a four step stainless steel ladder for getting back aboard as well as a wash down in the walkthrough to spray off any salt. Now let's head down to the cabin and check out the accommodations below. One of the first things you notice about the cabin is a really bright, open and airy feel down here. And that's due to these massive windows. They let in a lot of light. They also allow people to sit down here and still see the water when we're underway. You can lower the table and then simply pivot in both cushions to form a comfortable V-berth. For additional passengers, there's a mid-cabin berth, has a privacy curtain, as well as two lockers to store any additional items. Now, if you're in the market for a boat that's great for day boating, entertaining, but also has the accommodations to spend a comfortable night aboard, you're gonna wanna check out Monterey's 360 SC. For Boating Magazine, I'm Jeff Hemmel. 
I think it's time to spend a little more time out on Tampa Bay.